Not Scotty Talk, I'm going to do the instant reaction into the result that I'm going to say I did call it in the preview. I said 1-0, I got the goal score wrong. But I, I'm, at this point, I don't really care because we've just beat, beat Stockport. I mean, on paper, you were going into this game. Obviously, we've just lost to Boromud 1-0. You're a bit dubious to, to think we'd get a result, maybe pull a point and it'd be a good result for Notts, but we've taken all three and you, you cannot criticise Ardley whatsoever. You cannot criticise the team. That back four tonight were absolutely fantastic. Turner, Rawlinson was solid. I think Brindley and Kelly Evans, you know, Brindley was absolutely brilliant down, down that right-hand side. Kelly Evans, you know, he, he misplaced the, the ball a couple of times, maybe let it run out or he, he misplaced the pass, but... You cannot criticise it. I mean, what's that one goal now in... We've conceded one goal in four, six games. I mean, f fantastic. Like, you cannot cannot get much better than that. And two players that I thought were, were brilliant throughout the game as well was uh, Ruben Rodriguez and, and Enzio. Defensively, they were... Pff, I've never seen them at that, that level where every second ball they're onto it. If they lost the ball, they were tracking it back and regaining possession. Especially Ruben Rodriguez, there was a time when he, he, he sort of took a player on and he, he skipped a bit further. The ball came away from him and then he turned around. Uh, he, he, it was repossessed. Stockport had the ball. He turned around, ran back, got the ball back. Great tackle. It shows that grit and determination that you want from those type of players because if those types of, like, you know, like the sleek, quick players that aren't really used to like pulling their socks up and getting stuck into games or getting stuck into games like that, it shows the grit and determination that the whole squad has. And honestly, I, um, I cannot believe the level of performance that we've just seen from Notts there. The Stockport, who are freely scoring it, as we've seen, I think they've averaged two goals at least in the last five games. They've won every away game this season, bar obviously Notts tonight. And I think they've had one or two clear-cut chances throughout the game, so we've really kept them at bay. And, you know, full credit to the, the Notts side. Um it's it's a funny one though for me because it's one of those games where we've had le a lot less chances than we have done where we've not really capitalised on in games. So we've had games where we've had loads of chances, you know, three or four clear cut chances and not taken them. And the game where we get one clear opening and then maybe a couple of openings, but they're not really clear cut chances. We we've won the game and I suppose that is football, but I hope we can just build on that now where we can start taking our chances and the good chances that we do get, we take advantage of it and then. We can push on now. Um, yeah, huge turning point for us now in terms of performance, results. We need to start pushing up the table. Torquay have lost tonight, which is obviously a huge bonus for us sitting at the top. Um, so, yeah, all in all, absolutely brilliant. Uh, me and Tom, you know, that first half we were saying it was pretty much inch perfect. You couldn't get much better. And to shush them out in the second half when they've come out, they've changed shape. It's a little bit more attacking and they've not had much of a look in, you know. Credit to Slocum as well, I'll mention that because the, the one clear-cut chance that Stockport did have, he made a fantastic save and that could have changed the course of the game completely. So credit to Slocum. So yeah, that, that that's my instant reaction. I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon that we've got that result against Stockport. I feel like that is the result now that's going to be a turning point in not season and we're going to start pushing up the table and hopefully, hopefully we can get that first place spot.